What does yada, yada, yada mean? Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? Today, the Senate Judiciary Committee will continue its work on an issue on the mind of most American families. How to keep our kids safe from sexual exploitation and harm in the internet age. Discord has been used to groom, abduct, and abuse children. Meta's Instagram helped connect and promote a network of pedophiles. Snapchat's disappearing messages have been co-opted by criminals who financially extort young victims. TikTok has become a, quote, platform of choice for predators to access, engage, and groom children for abuse. And the prevalence of CSAM on X has grown as the company has gutted its trust and safety workforce. Coincidentally, coincidentally, several of these companies implemented common sense child safety improvements within the last week, days before their CEOs would have to justify their lack of action before this committee. Mr. Zuckerberg, you and the companies before us, I know you don't mean it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. You have a product that's killing people. We live in an America in 2024 where there is no regulatory body dealing with the most profitable, biggest companies in the history of the world. They can't be sued, and there's not one law on the book that's meaningful protecting the American consumer. We make careful product design choices to help make our app inhospitable to those seeking to harm teens. Let me give you a few examples of long-standing policies that are unique to TikTok. We didn't do them last week. First, direct messaging is not available to any users under the age of 16. Second, accounts for people under 16 are automatically set to private along with their content. Furthermore, the content cannot be downloaded and will not be recommended to people they do not know. Third, Every teen under 18 has a screen time limit automatically, automatically set to 60 minutes. And fourth, only people 18 and above are allowed to use our live stream feature. It's never been a secret that Snapchat, Snapchat is used to send sexually explicit images. In 2013, early in your company's history, you admitted this in an interview. Do you remember that interview? You said that when you were first trying to get people on the app, you would, quote, go up to the people and be like, hey, you should try this application. You can send disappearing photos. And they would say, oh, for sexting? Do you remember that interview? Senator, when we first created the application, it was actually called Pickaboo, and it, the idea was around disappearing images. We, the feedback we received from people using the app is that they were actually using it to communicate. So we changed the name of the application to Snapchat, and we found that people were using it to, to talk visually. As early as 2017, law enforcement identified Snapchat as the pedophile's go-to sexual exploitation tool. The case of a 12-year-old girl identified in court only as LW shows the danger. Over two and a half years, a predator sexually groomed her, sending her sexually explicit images and videos over Snapchat. The man admitted that he only used Snapchat with LW and not any other platforms because he, quote, knew the chats would go away. Senator, that behavior is disgusting and reprehensible. We provide in-app reporting tools so that people who are being harassed or who are, you know, have been shared inappropriate sexual content can report it. In the case of harassment or sexual content, we typically respond to those reports within 15 minutes so that we can provide help. Senator, we already work extensively to proactively detect this type of behavior. We make it very difficult for, for predators to find teens on Snapchat. There are no public friends lists, no public profile photos. Uh, when we recommend uh, friends for uh, teens, we make sure that they have several mutual friends in common before making that recommendation. We believe those safeguards are important to preventing predators from misusing our platform. The representative from South Carolina, Mr. Guffey's son, uh, got caught up in a sex extortion ring in Nigeria using Instagram. And he was uh, shaken down, paid money. That wasn't enough, and he killed himself. Uh, using Instagram. No one should have to go through something like that. You think he should be allowed to sue you? Um, I, I think that they can sue us. 
Well, I think you should, and then he can't. So to the members of this committee, it is now time to make sure that the people who are holding up the signs can sue on behalf of their loved ones. Nothing will change until the courtroom door is open to victims of social media. Ranking member, I, I agree this is um, an issue that we've also been very focused on since we started our company in 2015, okay. but this is the first are time Are you familiar been... with the Earn It Act, authored um, by myself and Sarah Blumenthal? Um, a little bit, yes. Okay, or do you support that? Um, we, um, like yes or no? Uh, we're, we're not prepared to support it today, but okay. we believe so the section- you support the CSAM Act? Um, the Stop CSAM Act, um, we are not prepared to support today, okay. but we do think there- Do you support are, the SHIELD Act? <laughs> we, uh, we believe that the cyber tip line- Do you and, support it, yes or no? Uh, we, we believe that the cyber tip line and NECMAC- I'll tell you that to be no. The Project Safe Childhood Act, do you support it? Um, we, we believe that... I'll take that to be no. Do you support removing Section 230 liability protections for social media companies? Um, I believe that Section 230 um, is, is, needs to be updated. It's a very old law. Do you, re do you support repealing it so people can sue if they believe they're harmed? Um, I think that Section 230, as written... Um, while it has many uh, downsides, has you, enabled innovation you, on the internet, which I think has largely you, been. Thank you very much. I just want to get this stuff done. I'm so tired of this. It's been 28 years, what, since the internet? We haven't passed any of these bills because everyone's double talk, double talk. It's time to actually pass them. And the reason they haven't passed is because of the power of your company. So let's be really, really clear about that. Senator, we largely support it. I think the spirit of it is very aligned with what we want to do. There are questions about implementation that I think companies like us and some other groups have, and we look forward to asking those. And of course, if this legislation is law, we will comply. We had discussions internally about whether we should build a kid's version of Instagram, like the kid's versions that. of YouTube yeah. and other services. Um, we haven't actually moved forward with that, and we currently have no plans to do so. So I think these parents will tell you that, that this stuff hasn't worked <laughs> to just give parents control. They don't know what to do. It's very, very hard, and that's why we are coming up with other solutions that we think are much more helpful to law enforcement, but also this idea of finally getting something going on liability. Because I just believe with all the resources you have uh, that you actually would be able to do more than you're doing. Are these parents would be sitting behind you right now in this Senate hearing room. I don't think that parents should have to upload an ID or prove that they're the parent of a, of a child in every single app that their children use. I think the right place to do this and a place where it'd be actually very easy for it to work is within the app stores themselves, where my understanding is Apple and Google already, or at least Apple, already requires parental consent when a child does a payment with an app. So it should be pretty trivial to pass a law that requires them uh, to make it so that parents have control any time a child downloads an app. But what was particularly concerning about the Wall Street Journal expose was the degree to which Instagram's own algorithm was promoting the discoverability of victims for pedophiles seeking child abuse material. In other words, this material wasn't just living on the dark corners of Instagram. Instagram was helping pedophiles find it by promoting graphic hashtags, including hashtag ped whore and hashtag preteen sex. These results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices. Get resources or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? Have you compensated any of the victims? I, These girls, I, have you compensated them? I don't believe so. You, why not? Don't you think they deserve some compensation for what your platform has done? Help Senator, with counseling services? Help with dealing with the issues that your, your service has caused? Senator, our job and what we take seriously is making sure that we build industry-leading tools to find harmful to content, make money. take it off the services, uh, to make money. and to build tools. So let me ask you this. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? Would you like to do so now? Well, They're here, you're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, I, I'm sorry for everything that you have all gone through. It's terrible, no one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. 
and this is why we invest so much and are going to continue doing industry leading efforts to uh, to make sure that no one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. Being a 14 month old company, we have reprioritized child protection and safety measures, and we have just begun to talk about and discuss how we can enhance those with parental controls. Uh, Mr. Spiegel, what does yada, yada, yada mean? I'm not familiar with the term, Senator. Very uncool. Can we agree that what you do, not what you say, what you do is what you believe and everything else is just cottage cheese? I, I, I've listened to, to you today. I've heard a lot of yada, yada, yada. And I've heard you talk about the reforms you've made. And I appreciate them. I don't think you're going to solve the problem. I think Congress is going to have to help you. Mr. Spiegel, um, there are a number of parents whose uh, children have been able to access uh, illegal drugs on your platform. What do you say to those parents? Senator, we are devastated that we cannot To the parents. What do you say to those parents, Mr. Spiegel? I'm so sorry that we have not been able to prevent these tragedies. We work very hard to block all search terms related to drugs from our platform. We proactively look for and detect drug-related content. We remove it from our platform, preserve it as evidence, we, and then we refer it to law enforcement uh, for action. Do you want them to use it more or less? Teenagers, 13 to 17 years old, do you want them using Meta products more or less? I'd like them to be useful enough that they want to use them more. Isn't the internet a dangerous place for children? I think it can be. Uh, I, I think you're, you're trying to characterize our products as inherently dangerous, and I think that... Inherent or not, you, you're, you're, your products are places where children can experience harm. Is that in order for you to succeed, you and your colleagues here, we have to acknowledge these basic truths. We have to be able to come before the American people, the American public, the people in my state of Georgia, and acknowledge the Internet is dangerous. One of the things that really concerned me is that you referred to your young users in terms of their lifetime value of being roughly $270 per teenager. See, this is what bothers us. Children are not your priority. Children are your product. Children, you see, as a way to make money. Senator, our, our tools for identifying that kind of content are industry leading. That doesn't mean we're perfect. There are definitely issues that we have, but we continue Mr. to invest Zuckerberg, in it. I yes, think, there are I, a lot that is slipping through. It appears that you're trying to be the premier sex trafficking no, Of course site not, Senator. In this uh, country. Senator, that's ridiculous. No, is, is it Senator, is not ridiculous. Uh, you want to turn want around this, and tell these people that- We don't want this content on our platforms. And we, why don't you take it down? We do take we it down. We are here discussing. We, we, do we more need work you to take all it down to than, work than, with than, us. No, you're not. Every single senator voted unanimously in favor of the five pieces of legislation we've discussed today. As parents and grandparents, we know what our daughters and sons and others are going through. They cannot cope. They cannot handle this issue on their own. They're counting on us as much as they're counting on the industry to do the responsible thing. No excuses. We've got to bring this to a vote. The hearing record is going to remain open for a week for statements and questions may be sub uh, submitted by senators by 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Once again, thanks to the witnesses for coming. The hearing stands adjourned.